Hello and welcome to the Wanderer Sparkle and R tutorial video. Wanderer is a general purpose information, extraction, aggregation, management and publishing application based on topic maps. In this video I will go through using a Sparkle endpoint to gather data in Wandora and then using the R language to create a chart of the data. We will use the Helsinki region InfoServe as the Sparkle endpoint. After starting Wandora we first use the Sparkle extractor. Select the Helsinki Region InfoServe or HRI tab and enter your Sparkle query there. The selected columns will become association roles in the extracted data. I am going to extract data about the population of various parts of Helsinki. My columns are the area identifier, area name, polygon data and the value or the population for the area. After you are ready, click the Extract button. The extraction results are combined in a new topic under the Sparkle result set type. Each extracted row becomes an association in the topic map with one player for each column in the Sparkle query. You can use the many tools of Wandora to further process or analyze the extracted data. Next we will use the extracted data in the integrated R console in Wandora. The data needs to be processed slightly with the R language before it can be used to plot a chart. First select the data we are going to use. You can select all the associations in the table by right clicking the table and then choosing select all from the context menu. Then open the R console by clicking the button in the toolbar. You can use the R language within the console. We will first get the associations we selected in Wanderer to the R environment. You can do this with the get context associations function that is included in the Wanderer R environment. We assign the associations in a variable. As you can see it now has a list of the associations. Next we will separate the different players from the associations. We do this with the get players function. Give it the association list and the name of the role topic of the players you want to separate and it gives you a list of the topics playing that role in the associations. We do this first for the polygon data and assign the player topics in a variable of their own. Next we transform the polygon data into a data structure that can later be used to draw the map of Helsinki. To do this we use the ready-made extract polygon function. It needs the polygon data in a string which we can get from the display name of the topics we just separated from the associations. This can all be done by applying a small function to every member of the polygons list. The reverse parameter is needed to swap the x and y coordinates since in our data the y coordinate is first. We next get the population data from the associations. Again we use the get players function to separate the player topics from the association. In addition we have to convert the topic list to a numeric format by applying the as numeric function to every member in the list. This tries to convert the base name of the topic into a number. The population numbers are now neatly in a simple list. Finally, we'll get the labels for each area. 
This is done similarly as the previous step by separating the players using the getPlayers function, but this time converting the topics to strings instead of numeric form. To do this, we apply the ask character function. The final step is to plot the charts. We want to plot the polygons and then fill each according to the number of people living in the respective area. We have separated all the data we need to plot the chart into three variables. First we need to set up the graphical environment for R. To do this, load the Java GD library and initialize it. This will open a window where the chart will be plotted. Making the chart is then as simple as using the plot polygons function and giving it the polygon data and the value data as parameters. To get the labels appear as well, give the labels variable as the third parameter. The chart can also be written in a PDF file. To do this, just initialize the graphical environment using the PDF function. Then plot the chart with the plot polygons as before. Finally use the dev of function to close the graphical device, that is the file. We can now open the PDF file which contains our map chart. That concludes this Wandera tutorial. Thank you for watching. Go to www.wandera.org to find out more about Wandora.